Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Mile High Open 2021. I'm your host, Sebastian Seabass Wolf, and I cannot wait to get into this game today. This is day two bracket play. There will be two 100 stone halves, double elimination, and remember that bracket is determined by day one. We've got the Phoenix Lights, the Reapers, Oklahomies, Desert Wolves, Ursa Majoris, Dranger, Spartans, and Rigor Tortoise all taking the field, trying to earn the coveted 2021 MHO prize. Looking at the bracket so far, we're going to be taking a look at Dranger versus Spartans today. Down in the elimination bracket, they are going to be playing for their spot in the tournament at this point forward. Phoenix Lights and Reapers and Desert Wolves and Ursae Majoris still up there in the upper bracket competing for the easier side of the championship, trying not to fight near as many opponents on their way in. Now, if this is your first time ever checking out Jugger as a sport, or your first Jugger video ever, I'm going to go ahead and go over a quick introduction of rules and regulations so you can understand the game as you watch it. Jugger is a competitive sport played between two teams. Four enforcers, armed with Pomfin and able to defend themselves, and one quick who has nothing and is the only player able to grab the ball in the center, known as the Skull. After a countdown, the players enter the field and face off against each other in the center. The enforcers spar with their Pomfin, while the quick fights for control of the Skull. If a player is struck by a Pomfin, they drop for a set amount of time, temporarily taken out of the action. Using a variety of Pomfin from the spear-like slash or short and shield to the intimidating chain, an eight-foot ball on a rope, enforcers must work as a team to deal with their opponents while creating an opening for their quick to grab the skull. Once the quick sees an opening, they rush for the skull and then for the goal, placing the skull inside it and scoring a point for their team. Fantastic. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's take a look at our matchup, Dranger versus Spartans. Now, Spartans are a historied legacy team, one of the founding teams of the Colorado Jugger League. Dranger, on the other hand, brand new this time around. Spartans took a somewhere mid-seeding spot, whereas Dranger is our number zero seed, or number eight seed, sorry. Uh, they have zero wins so far coming into the tournament. They are certainly hoping for a major up set trying to take down the Spartans today. We're going to see our countdown here in just a bit. You'll see that skull right there center field. That is what our quicks are fighting over, trying to score that in the other team's goal and earning themselves a point. Now, because this is stone play, there is an infinite number of points that can be scored inside of this timed sequence. This is very similar to what you see in traditional sports. There is a clock. It's running down. Once it hits zero, we hit halftime. Very explosive start right there. Looks like uh, Connor and Dragon both being taken out off of the wings as it looks like JV uh, Spartans Chain absolutely tearing through opponents. An easy knockdown of almost everyone should be a fairly easy run in for the quick. Dragon on the side of Dranger is going to do his best to try and keep that fight going, but multiple opponents are taken down and that seems to be an easy run. Dranger's quick is going to do their best to try and stop the goal, but they're going to be taken down and that'll be an easy point number one for the Spartans. They are on the board. As we watch our teams reset here, we can see a little conversation between the refs. Everything seems to be okay. No penalty flags thrown, and we're going to head right in to play number two. Now, 1-0 to zero is the score, and unfortunately, Dranger's line is looking a little messy here off the start. Spartans are once again going to get the flick. They're going to meet in the middle, and we see a pretty easy route of almost everyone on the side of the Spartans. An easy sneak in from Avocado, and there it is. The Spartans quick going to sneak it in, and 2-0 to zero is the score. Just like that, we're off to a very explosive start from the Spartans in a handful of stones. They've already put two on the board. Dranger is going to need to shore up their line quickly if they're going to be able to do anything and just like that two more collapse in the center Spartans once again in possession of the skull and they are going to move in you can see Jay on the chain also trying to go in a very easy back attack though looks like the Spartans weren't paying attention and Avocado's taken down they're going to ice that skull as quick as they can not sure if that was a late ice or not but Dranger's going to move into position they actually have control enforcers on that side of the field they are moving in they've got a couple of pins 
set up, and they've got positioning around the skull if they can help their quick. Looks like Alvarado's going to be moving in. You can see him on the slash on the far side. Going to take a couple down, but gets knocked out himself. Avocado, on the other hand, is going to grab the skull, try and do their best to navigate with enforcers on their side. Dragon's going to move up, try and chase down a beautiful back block right there as they continue to navigate the field. Looks like Avocado's going to get taken down, and just like that, Zeppi's going to grab the skull, and Dreyer's going to run it in for a point! Absolutely phenomenal stop there by Dranger. I did not expect them to put a stop to that offensive, but they fight through, they scrap, and 2-1 to one is the score. Really interestingly close game right now. We're going to see once again as they rush in. A bit of an overextension by Alvarado there. We're going to get taken down on the line. Zep cannot find the skull though. You can see Goliath, the Spartans chain player, just chilling right there. We're going to get taken down as Alvarado immediately gets back up, takes down that Dranger quick. And we can see everyone running into formation. And it does appear, though the camera did not catch the action, I do believe that is a point. That'll be point number two for Dranger, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we couldn't see what was going on on the line there, but that will actually tie the game up. A mid-seed team, MHO competitive team, taken to a tie by the brand new Dranger. Dranger may be inexperienced, but they've got an awful lot of fight in them. Center of the line is going to be taken down by Dranger as they still have decent field position. Good chain break by Seabass, but it looks like on the other side, Alvarado is rushing with that skull along the outside. He seems to have the better positioning as everyone fights over the center. Multiple enforcers down on both teams. Chains tangled together, which means they're not going to be in a position to defend. And there it is! Spartans will take the point 3-2. to two. Excellent work there by the Spartans quick getting that easy score. Beautiful outside positioning there by the Spartans. As we move into the next play, looks like a bit of a headshot there will not take down that enforcer. Remember, headshots are illegal strikes. They do not take down an opponent. And just like that, we're going to see a pretty easy run in by the Spartans. Are they able to get it? I don't think they are able to score. It looks like a double or a triple there by Seabass will stop them at the last minute. And there goes Bloxham. He's absolutely running for it. He's going to sprint in, and that's a goal once again, Dre is going to tie the game. I cannot believe it. What a sneak. Stopped on the goal line and they sprinted in for yet another goal. The score is 3-3. Three to three, a tie game. We see Dragon with his signature leap. Not going to cut it though. Gets taken down on the line as everyone moves into formation. Dragon's going to get up on the backside though. Absolutely take him down but it looks like Avocado is rushing through. Forced to ice the skull. And in comes Goliath swinging that chain massively for the Spartans. We can see uh, Al uh, Alvarado right there absolutely annihilating on the slash. One of the best slash players in the country sweeping through the Dranger line. Many pins coming out here on the side of the Spartans. It should be a decently easy... Oh, there is an ice though. Gonna force them across field and Dragon's gonna get back up re-engaging with Alvarado. Alvarado is gonna take him down though and once again we're gonna see a quick versus quick wrestle off. Gabe is gonna evade that pin, slide in style around the boy and there it is Spartans put a fourth point on the board four to three now the score I have to say, Dranger are putting up a phenomenal fight thus far. 4-3 to three against the Spartans is no easy task, and they've done a very, very good job. Lots of heart on this team, even if they have a lot of fundamentals that they need to shore up. I say that, though, as they absolutely rout the Spartans. Looks like that was an easy sweep. The quick rushes it in, and once again, we're tied. 4-4. Four to four. This is by far and away the most competitive match that Dranger have put on, and again, against an incredibly storied team. This is a very different look from what the original seeding match looked between these two teams. Dranger definitely learning a lot. But the Spartans have a lot of experience and athleticism on their side. And once again, they show it off. Rushing to that skull, we're going to see Goliath get a really good elimination off the line. They have possession of the skull, and they are sprinting it in. We've got a bit of a guard there, but it's not going to be enough. And Spartans are going to dunk it away. There are very few stones left in the game. 5-4 to four is the score. And Dranger is going to have to put one away quick if they want to tie this up and send it to a golden skull. Both teams are ready, and here we go off the line. 
In come both sides sprinting in. Can Dranger get it in in enough time to tie up the game before the game is over? We are swiftly running out of stones as multiple enforcers go down on every side. Unfortunately, Spartans in possession of the skull. We're going to see if we can try and pull one in fast enough. Once again, dancing and shaking. Looks like Avocado is still in possession of the skull, still holding it on, buying as many stones as he possibly can for his team. He almost goes down on the back end, getting chased around by Seabass, but he's going to evade, continuing to hold on to the skull. He's going to get pushed out of bounds, but just like that, the game is over, and Spartans will take it 5-4. to four. Insane effort from Dranger, but it's not quite going to be enough, and Spartans will move on in the winner's bracket. Congratulations, and we'll see you all next time with the Colorado Jugger League.